what is up guys welcome back to another daily build video this time because it is in the summit this week the ford focus rs rx or is it the rx rs ford focus rs rx anyway the rally ford focus rs rx x rs let's go Real quick before I get into the video, if you're looking for any of my Motorfest tunes or my Need for Speed Heat builds, I've moved everything to my website. It's MilitiaGamingCo.com. There's links in the main navigation menu for Need for Speed Heat builds and Motorfest Pro settings. So click those if you're looking for that. The link to the site is actually in the description of this video. All right, enjoy. All right, let's get straight away into the Pro settings for the vehicle. They're not super complicated. I made a few adjustments here. And on the fly, I'm going to adjust the brake balance as well because I've noticed that I didn't touch it and it might need to be adjusted. And I think that was just a quick oversight. So we're gonna do that on the video here, but 40% power distribution towards the rear. And then the brake balance, let's see what we can get here. We move it towards the rear. Are we getting any better braking distance? Doesn't look like it. Maybe I didn't adjust it for a specific reason. Yep, it needs to stay right where it's at, 60. 40. All right, moving down to the load. So we've got minus 10 on the front, minus 10 on the rear. And then for the suspension, it's all equal. The car feels really good uh, as far as the suspension is concerned. And then the ARBs are at plus five in the front, plus five in the rear. And the camber is at minus 0 0.05 and minus 0 0.05, just a tiny bit extra grip. And honestly, this car really didn't run too fast of a time. Uh, on my test course, I've tested all the rally cars and this one was sort of in the middle. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's also not the best. So anyway, I uh, anticipate a pretty rough start. I believe the start of this grand race is going to be uh, rally. So we'll see how this goes. Either way, we got to use it in the summit. So here we go. All right, here we go. Uh, I don't expect too much from it in the beginning here, but we are starting out with it. And then we'll be in the plane. Obviously, it's faster. Uh, and then we'll finish it up with the Agarit. So hopefully we're in a play, in a position to, uh, you know, be in the top five somewhere. But we're going to check out how this thing does here off the start. Let's go. It did all right. I let it sit in that gear a little too long, I feel like. <clears throat> but it's accelerating well. Just try to stay in somebody's slipstream here. Not get knocked off too off course too much. Oh, we lost all of our momentum there as we hit that guy. All right, let's try to stay with this front pack. TS Draco is uh, is very good. I've raced him before. We'll just try to stay here, not lose control. Car's doing fine. It feels good. I'm gonna try to stay in someone's slip here. That'd be really good. There we go. All right, not a lot of NOS. Everybody kind of went straight on the dirt as opposed to going to the street. Usually the street's a little faster. Oh, he decided he wasn't gonna be double passed. T.S. Draco and Fricker are going for the rally raid. Screw it. I guess I'm doing it too. Let's go. Let's see if I can stay in slip of uh, Draco. It 
it really did great honestly i mean it definitely wasn't a detriment to my ability to to take the corners like it it didn't go too slow it did fine and i think that's all you can ask for in these grand races is just to not is just to not be a detriment of a car something that's gonna lose you the race let's go fricker me and you again dude that's two videos in a row shout out to him let me get this inside thank you so much see that's why i like racing with guys like that it's legit he gave space which is amazing I lost control a little bit there, bud. There we go. Gotta make this turn. The Jeep does have just slightly better turning than Then the Z4 handles just a little bit better. But the Z4 does its thing, man. Let's stay off this wall while oh, we tapped it. Oh, that really sucks. Because now we're going to slide there. Alright, Agera. Let's see what we can do here, bud. We used a lot of NOS to that section because I kind of messed it up. Like I said last video, that unicorn is fast, dude, but the dirt is tough. It's tough to drive on the dirt, bro. I got smashed into a tree by this dude, man. That is just so... That's just silly, bro. It looks like he waited for me though. I appreciate that. I really do. He gave the position back, so shout out to him. He's probably still gonna get the the victory because I'm absolute garbage at these turns, bro. Dude, I just can't get control of the rear end. I have no throttle control. <laughs> I'm so bad at these drift events. It's really bad. That's cool, though. I appreciate him giving back the position. And uh, he actually gave up, gave up a victory uh, to do that. So shout out to him. Draco, you son of a bee. I'm a menace. I'm so bad at the drift sections, dude. <laughs> Shout out to Fricker and uh, CC and TS Draco. Good races and good sportsmanship for sure. Uh, but anyway, back to the focus. It was good. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's not going to win any awards, uh, but we are going to have to use it. And the tune that I've got on it makes it feel very controllable. It's very stable. You don't have to worry about it too much. As you can see, I mean, it wasn't like, you know, we, this this path is one of the more challenging paths, even though it feels really straight because there's a lot of like weird little bumps and the car sometimes can get, you know, thrown off a little bit. Or if you like make a slight mistake with steering, 
uh, sometimes the back of the car bounces and then you're in a slide and you can't really recover and uh, you end up oversteering a little bit so uh, if you guys go back uh, and watch it if you're interested you can go back and watch that section again that section is tough and this car really felt easy to drive in that section so um anyway i think it's okay it's a very okay car but i had to feature it because i feel like we need to see these cars before the summit comes up and if you haven't bought it yet don't worry about it pick it up in the summit bundle uh the tune is solid and uh and you won't regret using it so anyway thank you guys so much for watching appreciate it and i'll catch you on the next video trigger out